First of all, to open a file in Photoshop is pretty simple. Once you have Photoshop opened, you can set your uh, desktop or your your Photoshop work area like we have here however you want it and you'll learn it. We'll teach you about palettes and all that good stuff. This is kind of a palette that I'm working with. This is my setup that I normally keep. Okay, to open you can go to File and Open and then of course you have a, 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 a you know, you see your computer and you can go to wherever your file is and basically open it. So, oh, I'm not in the right place. So, um, you can go to your file and the good thing about Photoshop is it'll remember where you were and then you click it twice and it opens your file. Another way that you can open this your file, I didn't say, another way that you can open your file is by clicking on the gray block box twice. Just clicking anywhere in the gray twice and it'll pop open your file. It'll, 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 it'll bring up the open dialog box. One last way that you can open a file is you can go to the actual my computer or my documents where the files are, take the file and drag it and drop it and it'll open the file. So that's the way we open files. Next we're going to talk about file types. Okay, There's several file types and if we were to do a simple uh, change to this file um, well, maybe we'll just blur the skin just a little bit here just so you can see and we really don't want to do it. We're just going to do it just for the sake of making a change to the file. So if we were to go in and um, um, I'm doing changes but these are the things you'll learn about later. If we were to go in and just blur the skin just so it can be a change to the file. Now if we were to save as, if we want to save this file we can save it and it will save it like it is with the same file name where it was. If we go to save as it will save it and it asks you save as what? This is the way you make a new file in a different way. Here are all the file types that Photoshop does. I mean, there's a lot of file types. The main file type that we use, or only two, is either a JPEG, which is a flattened image with nothing else in it, and it has a compression rate. So if I was to save, I would save as, I didn't go to save this file, and say I put a B behind it because I don't want to save it over the name that it originally was. I click save. It pops up this compression box. Now, if I go way down here, that means this file is going to be very small. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to put it at one compression just so you'll see it. And I'm going to click OK. OK, so we have it as one compression and it's OK. Now, what I'll show you is, if we go back to the box where that is, I want you to look at the difference in the file size based on the fact that I saved that at one, comp uh -oh, at one compression. So we're going back over to where the file is. Just showing you a few things about files. Okay, now the same file, look at that. The same file, same picture, it's 1.5 megs with a normal with a high compression. With that one compression, it's 128K. In other words, all the information has been taken out of this picture, and this picture does not look as crisp and clear as the other one does. So we're going to close that. Click open again. Um, we're going to open again. Now, if we save that file, we'll do a little change again. Let's grab our blur tool one more time. A little blur just right there, just so we'll have a change. And then we're going to save as again. Now we're going to save it as C. Now, we'll save it at 12, which is where we want to save everything. Click OK. We're going to go back and look at that file, look at the size. See that C is 2 megs. See the difference between the two? Now, we have that C. Let's open up B. Uh, I, I didn't open it in Photoshop. I'm going to drop, drop it in, in Photoshop. Now, let's do... So we have two of the same exact pictures, right? But one is saved at 12 and one is saved at 1. Now, we're going to zoom in on this picture three times. One, two, three, four, five. I said three times. We zoomed in five times there. Now we're going to take the other picture, same picture, just different compression rate. We're going to zoom in five times again. One, two, three, four, five. Look at the difference in that picture. Look at how that skin looks there. And then if you go over to the other picture, look at how pixelated it is and how it just, it doesn't look, you can see the difference right there. That is what compression does. That is why when you save your files, we want you to save your files at the highest compression rate 
which is 12 at Photoshop 7 and higher. If you have Photoshop 5 or Photoshop 6, it will only save up to 10. 10 is still good, it's fine, but that's, that's how that goes. So, now the next thing we want to show you, we'll open the file again. We're going to open, let's go, you know that, that B one, I just want it out of there because it's just too, too small. So let's say we have a file and we want to, we want, look, we're going to talk about a Photoshop file now. So a Photoshop file is a file that has several layers on it. We're going to talk about layers later, but just so you'll know, a Photoshop file. Now I'm going to pull up another picture. I'm going to look at these pictures, make sure I see what they are. I'll pull up this picture. Let's say I have these pictures and I'm trying to merge these pictures together, make a multiple exposure or do something. And I take this picture and drag it over here. I'll talk about what I just did later. So now I have two pictures, okay? Now let's say I wanted to do a simple, um, let's say I decided to do something simple. I'm going to cut this picture out of here, you know. It's just something simple because we're really not talking about all this yet. And I'm deleting. And let's say I wanted to make a double exposure and I would really cut that better. And I'm going to put this picture here and that picture there. Now, but I have to go. I have to save it. This time I'm going to save as a Photoshop file. Why? Photoshop files are unflattened files. You see over here in the layer palettes, we have two layers. So we save it. Okay? We save it. We close it. And we're going to close this file. Alright, now I don't want to save it. We're going to open it up and pull up the Photoshop file, which is a little different file. It's a PSD file, Photoshop file. We're going to open it up. Now notice, this file, If I now I'm coming back to work today or tomorrow, and I want to manipulate I want to move this over here. I want to change the color of this layer and make it a little brighter because it's too dark. So we want to make it bright. That's too bright. But anyway, you get the point. Or this layer here, we want to raise the contrast up on it because the contrast was too dark on it. So we raise the contrast up on it a whole lot. Okay, so now we were able to manipulate both files, both deals. That was really bad what I did there. <laughs> uh, but we were able to manipulate, maybe that's a little better. We were able to manipulate both layers because the file is a PSD file. But if I go in and layer and flatten this file and save this file as a JPEG now, a JPEG is a file that's flattened and it's done. There's nothing, you know, you can manipulate it, but you can't manipulate. It doesn't have layers of things on it. It just has one layer. Now, I close that. If I come back to open up that file again, that was that one there, sir. I can't, I can't do anything. There's no layers. This is all one picture. I can't change this. If I go in and select that and try to delete that out, it's going to delete out everything because it's together. So, the advantage of having a PSD file, we'll go back and find that PSD file, is this file, you can come back and you can work with it. We want you to save, when you do your multiple exposures, we're going to want you to save two PSD files, a PSD file, so that if there's something wrong, we don't want to have to go back in and recut this picture out. We just want to say, oh, okay, this particular layer here, we need to smooth the skin out a little bit, we need to um, do something with this little spot right here, or whatever. Okay, so basically you've learned today that you've learned how to open files and how you learn to open files is by clicking on a box and you can click on a file and open it or by going to file and open and click on a file and open it or by going over to a box and grabbing the file and dropping it into Photoshop. Those are the ways that you open and deal with files in Photoshop, okay? Now, we also learned that there's several file types. We've only talked about two. These are the file types. There's a PSD file, which is an unflattened, it's a Photoshop file, so that you can come back and keep doing manipulations. What we'll probably have you do is save a Photoshop file for like a multiple exposure, and then flatten it and save a JPEG file also, and then we'll have two. So if we want to change the Photoshop file, we'll be able to. Okay, so that is what we do basically. That's basic basic tutorial on how to open and work with files in Photoshop. Thank you.